Hello everybody, I'm Tasman and welcome back to an Inzu Wild Adventure. <laughs> uh, so I'm just hunting in Canterbury again, um, so I've got up to five days but the weather doesn't look that great so uh, I'll just see what I do. Might head back early, um, look for a deer, maybe a chamois. Um, yeah, so, so it's late November so I won't shoot any hinds or nannies, or, but yearlings are fine, um, yearlings and stags and yeah, we'll see what we can find. Up the hill through the forest. There's not much wind under the trees and it's hot. Um, but yeah, pretty good progress. That's a wee bit more like it. The bush was a lot smaller than I was expecting, so it was a bit of a bash. So, but now we're at 750 meters, just got to climb up to a thousand, so not too bad. Um, <laughs> hopefully, it stays a bit more like this with um, a more open forest. Some good stag sign. Oh, there's a deer just in the hill just in front of me, which is great. Good to see some animals. Looks like a hind, so I won't shoot it. No, just keep going past it. That looks like a yearling, about 10 metres away. So maybe I'll get the gun out, eh? <laughs> I was going to wait until we were onto the proper tops, but no one just sprang out of nowhere. <laughs> There's another hind and it's yelling over there. So I'm just gonna head up there. Set the camp up somewhere. So yearling, hind, it's gonna be tasty. It was only about know, 50 meters away. Um, but I didn't go for the head chop because it was kind of windy. So I just got it tonight and then set the camp up, set the camp up pretty close to here. That looks nice. So the tent had a bit of a catastrophic failure last night, but still got up quite early this morning and fixed it. Not very pretty, not very pretty but it'll do. Get a bit of a fear going. Whoa! <laughs> Never had that before. Ooh, that's lovely, that is. I was hoping the wind would die down a bit, but it's still really gusty. 
Um, but I'll just head out for a quick afternoon hunt if I can get on something. Um, maybe see a shammy or a pig. I might shoot another um, yearling if there is one around. We'll see what we can see. Yeah, maybe take some pictures. Well, it looks like the wind's come down a little bit, so we'll just go have a quick look uh, for something. Well, nothing about it except for that show me it's a bit far down the hill for me to want to go down there. So maybe just if we can back to camp and have some dinner. The show me is down there. Camp's over there. Well, the team survived for the night, which is surprising, uh, and not much rain. So, uh, just gonna head down the hill, um, see if I can bump into a deer. But other than that, just walk down. Uh, looks like it might rain uh, soon, so hopefully we don't get too wet. Noodles and breadstick for breakfast. It also tore off. But the plaster tape stuck on really well. I haven't seen any deer on the way down, uh, just about to head into the forest and looks like the clouds are coming across a bit. That was a lot worse than I was expecting. It was just nasty, like uh, hardly any space when we walked down and the forest was, was worse, so we just walked down the river. But anyway, I just got down to the main uh, river where there's some river flats, so I'll just get the raft already, see if there's anything wandering around. And then it's just like three k's back to the car.
I didn't see any deer on the day on the way down. But yeah, that was a good trip. Shockingly windy, but other than that, it was really good. <laughs> cool to see some deer numbers. Uh, but if you enjoyed this episode, please like the video and subscribe if you feel like it. And I will see you next time. <laughs>